Howdy guys, I'm with Radical X. We've got a replay between Decris and Hiru. Yeah, I just got like the entire replay thrown off from Hiro so we can just watch some games of his spectacular gameplay. For those of you uh, who aren't sure, Ben Forster is Hiro. Or are they different or are they just playing on this account? Uh, like, I think later on Hiro and Kiroi both played on this account from time to time, but now Hiro is like playing here. Or was playing. <laughs> uh -huh. So right now we've got uh, nature versus shadow, and we've got lots of wind weavers versus lots of knock troopers, and one dread charger. I think like Chris needs to add more dre uh, dread chargers, because otherwise knock spam just loses out against wind weavers. Okay. Okay. And now he got just caught out. You say he got called out? He caught out by the root. Hmm. So yeah, he gets destroyed right now. Oh, and that life weaving was not good. Ooh, yeah. Well, maybe he meant to nasty it? I don't know. I don't think it was in range to hit all the units. Yeah. Like, the life weaving was just wasted power, pretty much. Yeah. Why is this a seven minute replay? Well, maybe face towers are incoming, who knows? Oh. <laughs> Nature struggles to to finish against them. There, yeah. there, there we are. <laughs> yeah. And another one. Alright, Chris. I thought Yabro respected you. <laughs> I think uh, this replay uh, will make him sad. I feel like Hiru can take a well and probably is just fine against the face towers. Yeah, the distance is so high. You can't take a well now, that would be still safe. Mm. And I think like if he plays Primal Defender, he can even defend it for a long, long time. That's a lot of face towers. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, there's another <laughs> one. Four face towers. Um, yeah. Right. Okay, we got the Primal Defender, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that should lock everything up. It's weird to me to think of playing a Primal Defender. Yeah, it's really weird, but you need to do it in order to survive against this face tower spam. Uh -huh. Because otherwise nature just doesn't have units that do enough DPS to kill them. Yeah. Well, so far this is a kind of boring game. You, we we're gonna have that nice headline right in the in the title, you know, uh, hero versus Decris, and everyone's gonna click <laughs> on it, and then they'll be disappointed. Well, let's see. Maybe we get something uh, interesting right now. There's a second primal defender. Yeah. And I mean, why two. not? You know. Yeah, you got like, how many face stars are they? Five. Yeah. Six? Five. Yeah. Five. Yeah. <laughs> and they are moving wall. slowly. <laughs> There's Six. the sixth one. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Like, this line looks pretty interesting on the minimap. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks like a wall. Yeah, it looks like a wall, true. Okay. Uh, there is a night guard. Yeah, I guess in preparation for the deep one. Yeah, probably, but I think it was not the best choice because Hero's probably playing Barovas against that. Really? I would just like take a well and go tier 3, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just like, nah, just shut down. You don't phase tower here, you know? Oh, well, the they missed. Okay, there are the Barovas. Base towers have pretty good DPS, actually. Yeah, they do. Like, 900 is really good. Especially, yeah. like, the splash damage is so good against the nature units. Uh -huh. You can't just rely on wind weavers, who are usually very good against shadow, because they just get destroyed by face towers. But with primal defender and Barovas, it's quite, quite possible to defend 
at least like this. Mm -hmm. On some maps, you still get pretty huge problems, like Wazai. So, Radical, do you know why some things you can dodge and some things you can't? Like, it looks like you can dodge the Primal Defender, but for instance, you can't dodge, uh, like, a Skyfire Drake or a Gladiatrix, you know? Uh, yeah, that's true. Like, some some of them are, like, point and click. <laughs> for, for, uh, they, they just hit the target, but right. some, some projections are dodgeable. That's that's that different from from unit to unit. Mm -hmm. So you don't like know, most like... of the time. I feel like I feel like most of the time it's when units have uh, big splash damage that mm -hmm. it's sort of undodgeable. Well, but Skyfire Drake, or I guess maybe bigger yeah, than Skyfire it has Drake. Yeah, a little bit, but it's not as much. It's it's really different from uh, from unit to unit. Yeah. Okay, now we get like deep one and energy parasites. I think Hero won this game by now. Like yeah. he's one well up with nature against Shadow Frost. Yeah. And he can sort of use uh, energy parasites to like, you know, get more of the Chris power wells. Uh -huh. Oh, good nasty. There's another deep one. And another energy parasite. <laughs> well, yeah. Welcome to Hero's playstyle of uh, nature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll see any different units apart from like deep one and energy parasite now. <laughs> did he just life weaving the uh, night guard? He did. Yeah, I think he tried to save it. To get the deep one, but yeah. Why not work. just build another night guard at that point? You know, it's literally the same cost. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's uh, nasty. Oh yeah, there's the shrine of memory. Mm -hmm. This game will be out of control pretty soon. If it's yeah. Not. I guess the shrine. I don't think it'll do like a ton though, because he doesn't have a ton of void power. Uh, he has like 400 right now. So okay. if he activates, if he activates the shrine, he gets plus 20, which is the maximum amount of power we can get. Will we plus 20 or plus 16? Plus 20. It's, Why? 200% uh, bonus return. Right, but yeah. it's returning plus eight right or plus nine right now. Plus nine, yeah. It's 200% bonus. Like the basic value remains, and you get like. Three times of the actual oh, okay. turn. It's just uh, spamming heals versus kobolds right now. Plus this little extra well. Yeah, and Hero will en end up winning because he has, like, like, everything is going in his favor. He gets more power through wells, he gets the energy parasite, mm -hmm. he gets the efficient traits. Yeah, the curse. Yes, the shrine. His void power is actually similar though. Well, not anymore, never mind. I guess there was just more units bound on the field. Yeah. And now the shrine is active. Yep, yep, plus 20, you're right. He ran away and from that well? Interesting. Oh, spawn another uh, think... deep one. Yeah. Oh my god, another deep one. Yeah. That's that's tough. And the fourth one. Holy moly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Goodbye, Chris. Goodbye. Deep ones are so good. I like hate them so much. <laughs> yes, they are pretty strong. And now we can just heal them mm -hmm. with this infinite void return. I think deep ones might actually have like similar stats to uh, magma hurler. 
Magma Hello? Yeah. Yeah, that, that could be possible. Like, the HP pool is bigger though. Magma like, Hello, I know they have 1700 attack. Yeah, 1700 attack and I think 1200 life points or something like that. Yeah, okay. Is it that low? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and here one. <laughs> There's the game. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> no more comments are necessary. <laughs> yeah, great, great.